Hi, this is Dmitry from iRx.com. This is second tutorial about noise driving parameters. I'm going to show you how to create this animation and we'll describe noise mask a little bit deeper. Okay, I'm going to create a new composition, size 1000 by 1000. I'll create a new solid layer, same size as a comp. Okay. Let's put here our audio and generate audio keyframes. Animation, keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes, done. Expand this layer to easy access to keyframes in the next steps. Here is our solid layer. Let's rename it to grid1 first. Ok. Right mouse button, effects, aerialics, Rica grid. Here is base grid. Let's first make shape hexagonal. In shape, elements count, set it to 6. And fill change to stroke. Now grid. Hexagon grid, let's check it. Ok. Horizontal and vertical count to 8 boss. Set 1000 height. And Eleven fifty seven looks good to fill the entire screen. Let's increase the radius. We'll leave fifty for now. We can add noise to radius by increasing multiplier, say seventy five. Let's add more. 150. As you can see by changing instance radius, we affect the stroke width. It is not what we want to get. I will set 0 here. And I'm going to add noise, not for radius, but for scale instead. Shape x scale, noise, multiplier, set to 75. Here is noise and layer offset. I will type minus 100. In this case, noise will subtract from this value. This means no instance will be bigger than 100. Here is visual explanation how this mask works. This line is common value, set by, set by value. This is our noise with amplitude defined by multiplier. By default, when noise and layer offset is zero, noise applies like this. Noise values below the midpoint subtracts, and values above the midpoint is add. Changing noise and layer set to 100 make noise add to common value. Changing noise and layer set to minus 100 make noise subtract from common value. Hold Alt key and left click on evaluate stopwatches. In script editor type time times 10 type plus. Then click and drag on this little big beep and release mouse on both channel slider. Then type Divide 10 and click on empty space. Let me explain this expression. So, first part time times 10 is just linear animation. If you want, for example, to slow down twice this animation, you need to change 10 to 5. Second part is audio reaction. It's add some peaks from audio bits. So, if audio reaction is too high, just increase divider. Ok, now we have animated first layer. Let's adjust it a little bit. Instance radius to 100. Uh, stroke reach to say 13.4. Okay. Instance color. Something blue. Brightness noise. Multiplier say 120, hold Alt and click on stopwatches. I'll just copy expression from scale. Ok, looks like first layer is ready. Now select layer grid 1 and duplicate it. Edit, duplicate. Ok, on layer 2 Change scale value to 83. And brightness value to 11. 
duplicate grid 2 on grid 3 layer scale value to 66 brightness value to 22 ok just one last copy and bring it to bottom let's rename it to BG on this layer remove all noise just set to zero all multipliers on scale on brightness and instance radius to C90 Let's make color a little bit darker. I think we're done. Let's look what we get. Thanks for watching. You can download Jugagrid plugin to try from here.